What is up beautiful souls? I am Sid Alexandria and on this channel we talk about a variety of different things all falling within the scientific spiritual realm. And today we are going to be talking about where our energy is going. We are going to be thinking about things that we don't usually think about but we really should start thinking about more. That is landfills, sewers, everything that we touch, everything that we interact with, everything that we, even a small fraction of us, goes into our energy, okay? Because everything in this universe is made up of energy, is made up of these atoms and mo molecules, things like this. This is what they told us in science class, and this is true. At the core of it, this is all energy and energy works in ways that us as humans in these dense meat sacks that our souls are in we can't understand okay not fully at least but what has been proven to me proven to a lot of people and in some ways scientifically using human science been proven so if everything is energy then everything we touch, like there is, there is a remnance of energy, if that makes sense, okay? So I've done other videos on off-branch subjects of this big subject of energy. That's the largest subject in the world, I think. So, because the whole universe is energy, right? So like, diving deep into this people we've had sex with things like this there's going to be a large amount of energy left over right that's the energy of creation right there but if i just like touch a pen or something less energy right okay so other things that contain energy are you know what we eat what happens to these things one that we eat that go through our body that come out of us as pee and poop or the other end or that you know comes out of us as sweat like think about everything you excrete from your body all genders but then especially people with uteruses think about when they bleed every month or whenever they bleed like that is a like a lot of energy, right? So people might think, oh, your poop doesn't contain lots of energy. That's the stuff we don't need anymore. That's still like a part of something that was in you. Like there's still some of your energy in that, whether or not you want to believe that, there is scientifically. And especially with this menstrual blood, that's even more so. That's like top three most amazing fluids right there and a lot of the times it's just going either down the drain or to the landfill okay and nine times out of ten all of our poop is going down the drain in the sewer and I think about where does that go this leads to a collective sewer consciousness and then Sometimes things like this will go to the landfill if we throw them in the garbage. Or just everything, food wrappers, all of this stuff that we touch and it's very little, but it's going to the landfill. Or bigger things like couches. If they can go to other people, yeah, you know, they get the energy of your couch. Sorry we're hopping around to so many different subjects. I'm hoping that your brain, all of your little neurological neurological connections i'm hoping are like tingling and going crazy right now that's a good thing because hopefully you can like remember this so set the intention right now to absorb this information and think about everything that you everything your energy is touching everywhere your energy is going it's a lot of information but be conscious of it try to at least because our energy is going so many places all the time and yes it is usually 
a very tiny amount, but everything's on a spectrum and sometimes there's big ticket items, I guess you could say, and our energy like leaves a little bit of our energy goes with these items wherever they go, whether that's to the landfill, to sewers, to other people, if you get rid of a couch and someone else buys it, that's more beneficial nine times out of ten than that little snippet of your energy going to the landfill or the sewer. But I'm gonna touch on this more because this video is mainly about what I like to call landfill and sewer, like consciousness. It has become, we have a collective conscious, hopefully we know this if we're into spirituality or whatever you want to call it there's different collectives okay there's like a collective of feminine energy there's a collective of masculine energy there's a collective of child energy there's a collective of like elderly people energy there's a collective of single moms there's a collective of people who have been abused there's a collective of black people white people gay people, disabled people, there's all of these different collectives that you can tap into, okay? There's a collective of like each different Native American tribe, each different South American tribe, like there's all of these collectives, right? There is a human, earth human collective, there's a dog collective, there's a corgi collective, there's a pit bull collective, there's lions, tiger, bears, oh my collectives. There's a whole earth collective, but what we're going to talk about is like the whole human collective. There's, you know, a Western world collective, but there's a landfill collective. That's what I'm getting at, okay? I want you to think about everything. We're hopping around a lot in this video because everything is connected, especially with this like landfill consciousness. Everything is connected. That's why we have to jump around to all these different topics to fully understand it because it encases so much, okay? And I don't know if you guys have wondered too, let's just keep hopping around. Let's keep lighting up these neurons in our brains. So, <laughs> is that what they're called? I don't know. When are we gonna run out of space in landfills? Like a lot sooner than we think. So that's a whole other side topic that we need to stop throwing shit out because there's no room for the shit. Like, and then what do we do? Do we burn the shit? Like, no, that's not good either. What do we do with this stuff? Stop creating more of it. And same thing with the sewer. Like, are we just gonna keep on pooping and not doing anything with the poop just putting the poop in a big giant poop tank like what what no like out in the wild it's not like all of this deer poop piles up like sometimes it does but no it goes back into the earth it's manure you use it you know what i'm saying like there's composting toilets like we can do stuff with this that's a side topic anyways there's this collective all of this energy is stored together and this amplifies the human collective because yes there's a human collective but then if you think about the landfill collective all of these little snippets of our energy and it's usually like the worst parts of us going to the landfill because it's the stuff that we don't want right and sometimes like sometimes you throw out stuff and you're happy but Usually you're just like neutral, but sometimes you can be mad and throw stuff out. And then there's just like all of this, like not the purest energy in landfills and in sewers, right? It's just this weird energy. And there's also this kind of like confusion within this energy because it's like, there's so many different emotions within this sewer, within this landfill, within this idea that it's like, when you think about it, you're like, there's so many different things. Like, I don't even know what to think. Like, how do I process this? How do I analyze this? How do I like make sense of all of this? And the only thing you can really do is be aware of it. And like, I don't know, try, try to send good vibes to the sewer. Try to poop in a good mood. <laughs> We're really talking about this. We're really talking about this right now. Um, 
get a composting toilet if you can so we're not adding to this like not so great collective push for change because it's not looking great you guys in the western world we need to drastically change the self-sufficiency to not having any more landfills like the landfills we have let's just call it done let's just stop cold turkey would be great I don't think the whole world's gonna do that overnight don't expect them to I'm still contributing a very small amount to the landfill but I am but try to strive for self-sufficiency or not even self-sufficiency but just sustainability in some sense because what we're doing isn't sustainable what does the word sustainable mean it means be able to keep doing to sustain we cannot sustain this lifestyle in the western world that we're currently living that's a major thing to think about but also just think about where our energy is going like part of your energy is literally going to a landfill your energy should be going to your backyard, to your garden, to your crops that you're growing instead of a sewer. Your energy should be going back to your homestead in the same cycle, appreciating the land that you live on, appreciating your community. Your energy shouldn't be in a different city that you've never been to on the other side of your state. Like what? Your energy shouldn't be two states over in a big landfill. Your energy shouldn't be in the ground somewhere you've never been. You have a connection to wherever your sewer goes to. You have a connection to wherever your garbage goes to, to wherever your recycling goes to. Especially people who have periods because your blood, where you give your blood to, if you're someone like me and occasionally or all the time you give your blood back to the earth, you have a connection with that spot. That's why you give your blood back to the earth in spots that mean something to you, like in your backyard, to your plants, something like this. But if you're just like throwing your tampons in the garbage or like when you sit on the toilet and blood gets in there too, like it's going to the landfill, it's going to the sewer we can control this we can we can choose where we put it okay people with uteruses especially that's a much more major deal than poop in my opinion is menstrual blood because girls and like trans guys especially this is a real problem because we are being controlled because then what do they do with this? What do they do with the stuff in the sewer? What do they do with the landfill? Do they have someone coming and doing a giant spell? Like, is this amplifying control over us? I don't know. That's a weird thought that I don't want to think about. I'm not going to give power to it. But I guess the reason for making this video is to get your neurons firing. Rapid fire. Something just flew by in that window. I think that was a little birdie. Cool just think about this stuff and if you have any other thoughts on this comment it down below sorry we talked about weird stuff but I'm not that sorry I think it's important to talk about even though didn't draw too many conclusions from this talk hopefully it will make you think a lot that's what it's supposed to do peace out